What's going on y'all, it's your boy Mr. J Pro in the building. This is gonna be a very short, very quick, very sweet, very nice, very cool, very funky. Okay, if you are shooting an HLG profile, picture profile on a Sony a7 III, that's the only camera I shoot with. I don't know if there's HLG on any of the cameras, so please don't quote me, but I know for sure it is on the a7 III because that is the camera I currently shoot with and that is the picture profile that I shoot in. So if you have HLG, on another Sony camera, then maybe this will work for you. I don't know, I'm not a scientist, I am not a Sony expert, I just shoot with my camera and that's it, okay? This is just what, this is what I do. So, I've been looking for videos because I noticed that when I did shoot on HLG, I am getting better picture quality, I am getting better resolution. So, when I put it in for the first time on my Final Cut Pro X timeline, I seen that it was all blown out, got confused, YouTube some videos, and it was just very confusing on how to get everything properly exposed back onto my 7, my Rec 709 timeline. So this is for you guys if you're using Final Cut Pro X. I do not know if it uses, if this works with any other video editing program. I only use Final Cut Pro X. So if that is you, this video is for you. Let's go. So boom, so I already have my library that I'm going to be using open. What you wanna do is you want to go and highlight every single clip that is gonna be edited. Not just in the one folder, if you have multi folders, you're gonna use, you're gonna highlight every single clip that is going to be on the timeline. That's what I do. Again, this is my method, this is what I do. What I do is you're gonna now go over to this little icon, this little eye over here, you're gonna click it, right? So usually by default you're over here, you're gonna click the eye, then you're gonna go down in settings, and again, it might be in another one of these drop downs that I use settings. You're gonna click settings, you're gonna go into color space override. You're gonna click it, then you're gonna click rec 709. Boom! So now you're gonna see your thumbnails start to magically get properly exposed the way that you shot it the day of the wedding, the day of the event, the way that you properly exposed it, okay? So now, guys, now and only now, if you take a clip and you put it onto your timeline, you're going to see everything properly exposed the way it's supposed to be. And now you're good to go. Now you're good to look like a movie maker, a filmmaker, and your clients are gonna be happy. You don't need to stress anymore. You could continue to shoot in HLG, and I recommend it. I do see a little enhancement when I shoot in it compared to any other picture style, um, picture profile. But yeah, I hope this helped. And if it has helped you guys, come on. If it has helped you and you actually seen a result from this video, hit that like button, it helps out. Thank you for making me hit um, a thousand subscribers. Honestly guys, I'm gonna start posting more. Um, I really enjoyed the interaction, you guys giving me DMs, you guys are messaging, you guys are commenting, whether you like it or whether you don't, you're giving me feedback, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and until the next one, in the meantime, and in between time, let's get it time some more.